Okay, tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make restaurant quality chicken parmesan. Uh, we're going to be making a homemade sauce as well. That's, uh, that's going to be the, the difference maker here. Uh, so let's run through our ingredients first. Uh, we're going to start making our, with making our sauce. And we're going to bread our chicken. We're going to brown it on each side for a couple minutes and we're going to finish it off in the oven. But to make our homemade sauce, you're going to need a couple cans whole peeled tomatoes, a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of tomato paste, some olive oil, an onion, some garlic. Uh, this is optional, but uh, I've got an Anaheim pepper here. You can use a, a chili pepper or so something to give it a little bit of heat. And then some parsley and I uh, should have bay leaves too. Yeah, and some bay leaves. So let's get started on our sauce. So I've got my olive oil uh, pretty hot in my pan. Uh, I'm using pre uh, minced garlic so obviously ideally you'd mince about four cloves of garlic I'm just saving a little time here but you got your garlic and your onion and you're gonna start with those and you should the pan needs to be hot enough that they should be sizzling right out of the gate so we're gonna uh, brown these for a couple minutes till they start to kind of get tender and then we're gonna start adding our um, tomatoes okay so I've already added my uh, can of tomato paste just for time because it takes a while to scoop all that out of there. I have my two cans of whole tomatoes and I smashed them up, leaving a little bit of chunks for a little bit of like texture in the sauce, but for the most part we, we want those pretty uh, pureed. So we're gonna go in with this entire thing of pureed tomatoes. Like I said, our tomato paste is already in there. We're actually gonna go with a cup of water Okay, and then we have our bay leaves and our parsley. I'm gonna throw, bay leaves give off pretty strong flavor. I'm gonna use two of them in here. And then, got our parsley. I just got from the store, it's still sealed. A little bit of parsley. And then finally, use about, this is a 28 ounce can, use about half of that of the crushed tomatoes. Okay. And then season with a little salt and pepper, uh, reduce the heat to low, bring it to a simmer and let this all simmer for about 30 minutes. And I almost forgot, I am throwing a Anaheim pepper in there as well. Uh, give it a little bit of heat. Okay, so we got this on high heat right now. You've seen it start to boil. So when you see it start to boil, we can take our heat down to a lower setting and just let it gently simmer. Like I said, for about 30 minutes, let all those flavors sort of melt together. And while we're doing that, we're gonna start working on our chicken. Okay, so the key to a great chicken parm is to get your chicken breast really really thin a scallopini and um, what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna make a cut about halfway through the breast here about halfway into the chicken and that's gonna butterfly it. I'm gonna be able to open it up at that point like like a book uh, and so that is gonna make it thin initially and then what I'm gonna do is put it between a couple pieces of parchment paper and use like a rolling pin or whatever you have, a meat tenderizer. Uh, you can even use your hands, you know, you can use anything, but pound the thing out and, and get it really thin. So this is about what your finished product should look like. Um, the thinner the better. Honestly, it's gonna cook faster and it just, it, it makes for a better chicken parm, promise you. Uh, so I got four of these to make, and then we will start uh, breading them. Okay, so we're ready to bread. I've got flour, I've got egg wash, just eggs beaten, and I've got my bread mixture. Uh, each one I've just added salt and pepper. So I got flour with salt and pepper, I got eggs with salt and pepper, and I have uh, panko breadcrumbs with salt and pepper, and then a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Each um, scallopini, I have seasoned both sides with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna dredge it 
in the flour. I'm going to uh, put in the egg wash, pick it up, let the egg uh, drip off, and then I am going to put in the breadcrumbs and press in the breadcrumbs. Then I'm going to bring it back to where I um, flattened it out, made it thin, and I'm going to put this parchment paper over it again, and I'm going to very lightly hit uh, the breadcrumbs into uh, the scallopini so they, they stay better. So this is what you're going to have as a finished product. So I'm going to have four of these. And what we're going to do is brown each side for a couple minutes, and then we're going to finish them off in the oven. Okay. Now our scallopinis are ready. Get some olive oil. I got two pans going. This is the one I actually did the sauce in. Um, get your oil hot. And we're gonna do about two minutes per side. Then we're gonna transfer over to a baking sheet. We're gonna finish topping them and then we're gonna finish them off in the oven. Uh, you're gonna want to get your oven to 400 degrees. You can probably do that a little earlier in the process, but uh, get your oven to 400. And we're gonna get our oil hot and we're gonna brown these suckers. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter to each pan as well, just because butter makes everything better. Um, a good rule, anytime you're gonna cook something in butter, throw a little olive oil in there with the butter because uh, oil doesn't burn, butter can burn. So the oil will prevent the uh, butter from burning. So once our butter's melted, I'm gonna throw those um, breasts in there and get it going. Okay, see I got this piece pretty well dressed up already. This one I'm gonna add some parm. But we've got our um, homemade tomato sauce. We're gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce on here. Spread that. And then we're gonna come on with our fresh mozzarella. Got your mozzarella on, and then we're gonna finish up with some shredded parm. All right, these are ready to go in the oven. Uh, anywhere from five to seven minutes, uh, pretty much based on the thickness of your chicken. These are pretty thin. We'll probably uh, meet that number right in the middle at about six minutes. Uh, again at 400 degrees. All right, and that is almost our finished product. I like to get a uh, little blackening on the the cheese there on top, so I'm gonna put the broiler on for a second, and I'm just gonna apply some direct heat on the top to kind of crisp that cheese up a little bit, finish it up a little bit of parsley. Um, but that that is chicken parm at the highest level, if I do say so myself. So this is what we're looking for from the broiler. A little bit of color there on the cheese. And then I'm just gonna finish it with some parsley. That's gonna do just a little bit for our flavor profile, but really gonna make it look nice. And that is it. You are ready to dig in serve with a little spaghetti or a vegetable but that is your chicken parm